So the third way the gospel changes our productivity is that it empowers us for fruitfulness, right? We don't just serve out of our own power. We don't just be productive using, you know, fresh tips and techniques and certain apps and like all that stuff's good. You know, and, and if you go on my website, redeemingproductivity.com, we've got articles on different apps you can use and different techniques for setting goals, all that stuff. That stuff's important. But the gospel equips us in unique ways. It equips us to be fruitful, right? It, it empowers us. We, we don't just serve in our own power. We do so according to the strength that God provides. Here's another verse for you. First Peter 4, 11. Um, this is the second part of it. He says, whoever serves... Serve as one who serves by the strength that God supplies. Okay, so if you're, if you're serving, how should you do it? Should you do it in your own power? No, he's saying serve by the strength that God supplies. Why? In order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. You catch that. So if you, if you serve, you should do so in God's power. Why? So that in all of your service, God gets the glory, right? This is this is one of the, the beautiful things about living a God-glorifying life is when you rely upon God's power to strengthen you, whether that's through prayer or through um, the spiritual gifts he's given you or, or through the, the, the means of, of the local church, when you are relying on God's power and he works through you, it's not you who gets the glory, it's God. And so that's one of the amazing things is the gospel equips you to be fruitful, you can be more, quote unquote, productive because you're working in God's power. And if you define productivity the way that, that I think we should, which is, is maximal fruitfulness for God's glory, well, then the, the best way to do that is to rely on the power that God supplies. So this is what's so cool. If you're a Christian, you've been uniquely gifted with both natural and spiritual gifts that make you especially useful to God. And so it's not just up to your own wits or your own personal prowess or whatever. Those who have trusted in the gospel of Jesus Christ are sitting on a treasure trove of resources that equip us to serve and be productive for God's glory. And when we use those, he gets more glory. It's really beautiful. So I would say take advantage of the ways the gospel equips you to be fruitful. Lean into your giftings. Um, go to him in prayer. Right? Ask for his power through prayer. Be involved in your local church and just watch how your fruitfulness soars.